Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles along with this uh, right triangle uh, ABC put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, P is the center of this uh, small uh, yellow circle whereas uh, Q is the center for larger circle and both of uh, these uh, centers are collinear and moreover the area of this uh, yellow circle is uh, 16 pi centimeter square and this uh, angle uh, BAC is uh, 60 degrees and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let me label the radius uh, of this uh, smaller yellow circle as uh, lowercase r and the radius of this uh, larger circle as uh, uppercase r and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where uh, lowercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle and the area has been given to us for this uh, yellow circle as uh, 16 pi so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks 16 times pi equal to pi times r square let's divide both sides by pi so therefore our r square value is going to be 16 let me undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our radius uh, lowercase r uh, turns out to be 4 uh, centimeter so therefore the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be 4 and now let's make an observation and focus on this uh, given uh, equation and we can see that this uh, green uh, shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, circle minus uh, the area of the smaller yellow circle and now we know that the area of this uh, yellow circle is uh, 16 times uh, pi so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, circle so therefore in order to calculate the area of this big circle we must find the value of uh, uppercase r first and here's our next step i have connected uh, this center p with this uh, point of uh, tangency t and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle uh, pta turns out to be 90 degrees since uh, this is our radius and this is our tangent line and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, pb is the radius of this uh, yellow circle and we know the radius uh, is uh, 4 so therefore uh, this uh, tp radius uh, is going to be 4 centimeter as well and in this uh, next step i have connected this center p with this uh, external point uh, a and as a result we get these uh, two right triangle the first one is uh, ABP and the other right triangle is uh, ATP and now we can see that these uh, two right triangle ABP and this uh, other right triangle uh, ATP are congruent uh, triangles according to side 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 uh, congruency theorem since uh, this side is equal to this uh, side and this side uh, is uh, in common between them and these are two tangents so they must be same and since uh, these two triangles are congruent so therefore uh, this angle is going to be 30 degrees and this angle has got to be 30 degrees uh, as well and the sum of these two angles is going to be 60 degrees and now we can see that all of these uh, triangles are special 30 60 90 triangles so therefore we could use this uh, 30 60 90 rule however i am going to use the so cartois to solve this problem and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a b p and we are going to use the tangent of 30 degrees so tangent is uh, going to be 
opposite uh, divided by adjacent in our case uh, the opposite side uh, is uh, 4 and adjacent uh, is this uh, AB side so therefore uh, tangent uh, of uh, 30 degrees uh, is going to be our opposite is 4 divided by this side uh, AB and now we can see tangent 30 degrees equals to 1 divided by square root of 3 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this one by 1 divided by square root of 3 so therefore we can write 1 divided by square root of uh, 3 equals to 4 divided by a b length and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore our this uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 4 times square root of uh, 3 so therefore our this uh, side length uh, a b of this uh, triangle turns out to be 4 times square root of 3 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, a b c and this time we are going to find uh, tangent of uh, 60 degrees which is equal to opposite uh, divided by adjacent and in our case uh, our opposite uh, side is BC and our adjacent uh, side is uh, AB so therefore uh, tangent uh, of uh, 60 degrees uh, is going to be our BC length uh, divided by 4 times square root of uh, 3 and now we know that tangent of 60 degrees is square root of 3 so therefore I am going to replace uh, this uh, tangent of 60 degrees uh, by square root of uh, 3 over here so therefore I can write uh, square root of 3 and I'm going to divide it by 1 to make sure we have a uh, fractions uh, on uh, both uh, sides is going to help uh, us and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore uh, our BC length uh, equals to we are going to multiply square root of uh, 3 times uh, 4 times square root of uh, 3 and if we multiply these two that is going to give us uh, 12 so therefore our this uh, BC length turns out to be 12 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole BC length uh, is the diameter of this uh, larger circle so the diameter is going to be 2 times uh, uppercase R so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, BC by 2 times uh, uppercase R equals to 12 let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate uppercase R so therefore our radius uppercase r turns out to be 6 uh, centimeter so therefore uh, our radius for this uh, larger circle turns out to be 6 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again area equals to pi r square where uppercase r is the radius of this uh, big circle so therefore the area of this uh, big circle is going to be pi times uh, 6 uh, whole uh, square that is going to give us uh, 36 uh, times uh, pi and here's our final step let's focus once again on this uh, equation we already figured out uh, the area of this uh, big circle as 36 times pi and the area of this uh, yellow circle has been given to us as 16 pi so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so the green shaded area is going to be equal to 36 uh, pi minus uh, 16 uh, pi and if we subtract that is going to give us uh, 20 pi centimeter square so thus the green shaded area turns out to be 20 times pi centimeter square and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.